Hi, Catherine. How are you? Good morning, Chef Kevin. How are you? Well, I have the pleasure of speaking with top chef, celebrity chef Kevin Gillespie, and it's such a pleasure that you're visiting with Living the Gourmet. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. Now, you're here to talk about the Vidalia onion, yes. which is a delicious onion. It's sweet and, and makes everything taste better. So tell, tell us about it and how you incorporate it. Absolutely. So today is the first day of the 2018 Vidalia onion season. And this is a truly seasonal product and one that we get very excited about here in Georgia. And a lot of folks all over the country get super excited about it. It's a very well, unique onion. I'm one of onion. them from New York. <laughs> Yes, well, you know what, it's amazing like how far it's spread. When I was a kid, I first started seeing or hearing about Vidalia onions outside of the state of Georgia, and nowadays you can find them all the way on the West Coast, so it's pretty incredible. Yes, yes. And tell us some ways that you like to cook them up because, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm sorry, I have my favorite ways, but I'd love to hear yours. Absolutely. So for me, cooking a Vidalia onion is all about taking a great ingredient and doing as little as possible to emphasize what's naturally great about it. And for an onion such as the Vidalia, that's its natural sweetness. You know, it is the sweetest onion around. Mm -hmm. And so we're doing um, a recipe for a slow roasted Vidalia onion soup that I really love. It reminds me of that very beginning of spring every year when I make it. And it starts with these onions in the skin or in the jacket themselves. What we actually do is we take them we put them inside a foil sort of parcel. We wrap them very, very tight in foil so that we capture all of those natural juices and we keep all of that steam in there because that, that, those juices become almost the broth for our soup. So we take this, we roast it at about 350 degrees for an hour or an hour and a half and what comes out is a very, very tender onion and all of those natural sort of slow roasted and caramelized juices that are left in that package. And what we'll do is we'll just take the root end of the onion off We'll squeeze the onions from their skin or from their jacket directly into the blender, and we'll blend this up. And that's kind of the base to our soup. It doesn't require a lot more than that. We add a little bit of uh, mascarpone cheese for some in, you know, added creaminess, and a little bit of lemon juice and some kosher salt. And I like to throw one little clove of garlic in there as well because I think it adds just a little bit of bite. You know, The onions themselves are super sweet, and so that little bit of kick of garlic is nice in there. Um, but we blend it up with a very small amount of stock. That could be chicken stock or vegetable stock. And really it's hard to say how much that it needs each time because every onion's a little bit different. And so depending on how much liquid you get from the roasted onions, we'll sort of adjust how much broth you need. But just remember that it's only enough for us to get that nice, smooth, like spoonable consistency that you expect of a creamy soup. And so we blend it up till it's nice and smooth. And then we add it to our pot and we just keep it warm over low heat here. And that's actually what I have in the pot in front of me here is our soup. And I'll just ladle a bit over here in our bowl. Garnishing this very, very simple. We'll just add a little bit of chive and a crack of black pepper on there. And what that does is that it just adds a little bit more nuance to something that already has a tremendous amount of flavor and a natural sweetness to it. And for me, this is one of the, the first tastes of spring that we see here in Georgia. And it sounds like true comfort food as well. I know that when um, my son was little, he just, uh, for a child to like onions is uh, uh, um, odd to begin with, but he loved them barbecued. And uh, that is a way that one of the ways that I enjoyed them and watching my family eat them. But that sounds delicious to make the soup out of them. They're absolutely wonderful on the grill as well, though. That is a great way to emphasize that sweetness because you get that nice smoky char from the grill, and yet the Vidalia onions have a really beautiful kind of crisp, juicy crunch to them, so they're beautiful done that way. They also make yes, a phenomenal yes, onion ring. it's wonderful to have your little one ask you, are you, are you grilling onions tonight? <laughs> you know, know that, so that is delicious. And tell us, how long are the Vidalia in season? Because... Uh, you know, people look forward to them now, but tell us how long we can have them for. Right. You know, they start, the season begins today officially, and then they're usually available through the end of August or the beginning of September, sometimes even a little bit longer than that, but they are a limited availability. This is a seasonal product. People take for granted that onions are always available. Well, Vidalias are not always available. They are definitely a seasonal crop, so folks need to, to get out to their stores and grab some up as soon as they can. And I know another question would be, what makes them so different from the other varieties of onions? Right. So this Red is onions, 
Right. This is a this is a sweet onion, meaning that it is obviously naturally a higher in sugar content, but also lower in sulfur. It has a crisp juiciness to it, and that comes from the soil. Like that comes from the climate and the water, and that's truly unique to South Georgia to produce something that has this very unique flavor profile. And it is the sweetest onion on earth, and we can we can show that we've proven it time and time again, and that's what makes it so special. Well, I for one love them, and I know that both my son and daughter grew up loving them. So, and, and as you say, they were a rarity. It was something that wasn't always there or available or that you knew about. So now it's wonderful that they've become available to, to almost everyone. Right. Well, we so, spent a lot of time with our Department of Agriculture really spreading the word and marketing these onions for something being truly unique. And they are. And now where can um, my readers go to find out more about them and maybe more recipes as well? Yeah, absolutely. You can check us out on a couple different places. You can go to VidaliaOnion.org and you'll, you'll be able to hear the story of these artisan growers. I mean, over 80 years of heritage going into this, into hand planting and hand harvesting a really beautiful crop. You can also follow us on social media at the hashtag OnlyVidalia. You can see photos there, myself in the fields, just checking this place out, but also a lot of other cool dishes that we're doing as well. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. And I look forward to looking and seeing uh, more about them. Well, Chef Kevin, I can't thank you enough for visiting with us and sharing a delicious recipe, and I wish you a beautiful weekend ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you, and it was a pleasure speaking with you. You as well. Bye-bye.